What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing my pack pulled BPL team. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into active squad. And bear in mind these are all players that I have uh, got in packs. So they're all first owners. And let's get started. First we're going to go for the goalkeeper. My goalkeeper is Joe Hart. Now this guy is a solid goalkeeper. Even though he's only an 82 rated, I do think he deserves a higher rating. He has 85 diving. Uh, 79 kicking, 86 reflexes, and 79 positioning. Now, this guy is actually really good for the rating, and I think he only, I don't think he actually costs that much. I actually haven't searched, but I was lucky enough to get this guy in a pack, as you see there, first owner. He is 6 foot 5, which is absolutely huge, and that completes the goalkeeper. So, for the first centre back, uh, centre back of choice, I've gone for Koscielny. Now, Koscielny is a solid centre back with 81 pace, 82 uh, defence and 75 physical this guy is also six foot one he's not the he's not the tallest uh, defender but he gets the job done he has a medium high uh, work rate with a three star weak foot and two star skill as you see there he's also first owner now moving on to the second center back I don't actually know how to pronounce his name but he is from um, he is, he's from Tottenham and he has 81 pace 77 defense and 74 physical He's six foot with a high, high work rate, which for me, I don't really like a high, high work rate. I like them more of a medium high or low high because I like my defenders to stay back and um, defend the goal. If they have a high uh, attack rate, they usually tend to run up the pitch and leave holes in your defense. Um, this guy also has a three star weak foot and three star skill moves. And as you see there, he's also first owner. Then moving on to the right back position is, of course, Kyle Walker. Now, Kyle Walker is probably one of the most used right backs in a BPL team. He has 91 pace, 76 defense, and 80 physical. Now, the reason most people use him is, of course, well, most of you know it's because of his 91 pace. He can catch up to anyone. This guy is a bullet. And as you see there, he's first owner with a high medium attack rate or work rate with two star weak foot and two star skill moves. No, he's not really the best at skill moves and he's not the best at weak foot. He's literally just there because of. Moving on to my left back position is of course Moreno. Now Moreno is a guy, he's, he's Spanish, he's from Liverpool and for me he's a bit underrated. I really think he deserves a higher rating. He has 87 pace, 80 dribbling, 74 defence and 71 physical. This guy is a machine. He's 5 foot 7 with a high high at, uh, work rate, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. As you see there he's also first owner. Now, moving on to the center defensive mid position, I actually have a, uh, a center mid, and his name is Aaron Ramsey. Now, I put Aaron Ramsey in the CDM position just because of his physical. He has 77 physical, he can barge those people off the ball. He also has 71 pace, 78 shooting, 79 passing, and 80 dribbling. This guy is a beast. Moving on to my left mid position is, of course, Christian Eriksen. Now, Christian Eriksen, he's a good player, don't get me wrong, but as a left mid, I would like him to have a bit more pace. You know, you have those um, wide midfielders uh, literally um, tend to kind of have them a bit more pace just to get those uh, balls down the down the line and whipping them in. He has 81 pace, 83 passing, 83 dribbling. Now, Christian Eriksen, I know, he's probably not the best left, left mid. I know you could go for Schurler. Or someone like that. But Christian Eriksen, you know, I got him in a pack, so I'm going to go with him. I, ha I have packed Schurler, but I did sell him because he was going for a bit at the time. But, yeah, Schurler would be probably a better choice, but Christian Eriksen's there anyway. Then, moving on to the right mid position is, of course, Theo Walcott. Now, Theo Walcott is one of the best players I've used in a BPL team. He has 96 pace, 77 shooting, 75 passing, and 81 dribbling. Now, many people tend to put him as a right forward just because he's got so much pace and he absolutely destroys as a striker. Now, I've seen, I've, I've had him used against me so many times and he's scored so many goals against me just because of his pace. Then, moving on to the cam position, I do have Ozil. Now, I was lucky enough to get him in a pack. He's not really going for much, but hey, it's Ozil. He's 86 rated, which is pretty decent. He has 75 pace, 86 passing, 87 dribbling, and he has four star skill moves. For me, for a cam, that is really good. You need a cam to have quite high skill moves to get around uh, the defenders. As you can see, first owner, he's six foot with medium low work rate. Then moving on to my first striker is, of course, where is he? There he is, the man, Lukaku. 84 pace, 80 shooting, 75 dribbling, and 81 physical. This guy is a monster. 
that 81 physical, he can shove any defender off the ball. It is ridiculous. And he's also six foot three with 84 pace. That is just incredible. As you see there, first owner, he's got four star weak foot and three star skill moves. Then moving on to my other striker. Not many people use him, but his name is Shane Long. Um, I got him in a pack. I got the inform Shane Long in a pack, as you see there, first owner. Um, he has 85 pace, 79 shooting, 75 dribbling, and 83 physical. This guy has so much strength, it's ridiculous. 85 pace as well. He can just... He's so... For me, he hasn't scored any goals for me in three games, but for me, I really, really love Shane Long. He is so good up front. He has a high, high attack rate. He's 5'11", three-star weak foot, and three-star skill moves. As you see, their first owner. So that's it, guys. That is my uh, pack pulled BPL team. Um, I will have uh, more videos coming out soon. If you like the video, smash that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, do so. And I will be back with more videos.